Okay, so welcome to those who will be watching this um, as after I'm through with the live presentation. And I welcome those who are hopping on now. We I love having you watch and share and leave comments. Uh, while I'm doing the presentation, I have a hard time watching both uh, comments and what I'm doing. Uh, so I will answer your comments or respond to your comments as soon as I finish videotaping. So today I'm going to be using some product I am excited, very excited about. First off, starting J August 3rd, the mini catalog for July through December um, becomes live. And it says July through December. Yes, we're not starting it until August, but the delivery is so backlogged for product that the company decided to wait to start the catalog in August to be sure that we had enough product to, uh, to sell. So that's why they postponed it. And we have celebration coming up. Yes, another celebration. This year they decided to change it from have a celebration be one event that lasted for three months. They decided to break it up into two events. This one is August the 3rd through September the 30th, two months. And it has all kinds of wonderful products that you can earn for a $50, if you're in the U.S., a $50 purchase. There are some items that if you make a $100 purchase, you have the choice of getting two $50 items or one $100 items. I can't show you the inside of the cat, but I can sh show you one of the papers because I already have it. Well, actually, I have two of the papers. This one is the Peaceful Prince, and it has a cute little deer pattern on one side and um, a checkered pattern on the other. This pattern is a birch tree type pattern, and on the other side are horizontal stripes. No, diagonal stripes. Then there's this wonderful kind that has a plaid background with snowflakes all over it. And the back side is just the plaid background. This one is kind of like a hound's tooth stripe. And you turn it over and it is a um, snowflakes, I guess, kind of look like compasses to me. And the last pattern piece design are these evergreen, these trees, and then with just a dotted background. So I hope you guys are able to hear. Hi there, Trish. Are you able to hear me okay? Okay, well, I will go ahead. Now, this designer series paper, the pattern, Peaceful Patterns, coordinates, and that's free for a $50 purchase. It coordinates with the Peaceful Deer bundle that is in the mini catalog. And the bundle consists of this wonderful deer stamp set. It's photopolymer. And you can see I've already used some of the greetings till they're already pink. And then it has this Peaceful Deer punch. And the, pun the deer do punch out Let's see where's the pattern they do punch out the deer that are on one of the patterns okay huh I must be not having all the patterns just a second I'll go get my bundle but get the larger pieces. I like to store my eight, 12 by 12 
designer series paper in these plastic envelopes. Keeps them nice and straight and it's easy to file. Okay, dear, dear, dear. Where are you, dear? Aha! I did miss one of them. And this one is the best, the best of all. Makes Would make a wonderful card just by that. The other side is a hound's tooth check. Just a check. So this punch will punch out this deer. So in, in a 12 by 12 sheet, you can get four of them because the bulk of the deer are going this direction and the punch punches that way. Well, let's see. If you were able, you could turn it over this way and punch it out. But you would have to know, I guess what I would do is I would take a piece of copy paper and punch it. And then hold it up to the light. And if you can, yeah, you can kind of see. Hold it up to a bright light and then put your piece of copy paper over the outline of the deer. And then you could punch it out using this. But you would have to punch from the reverse side. Rather tricky. So anyway, but that's but it, this punch does punch out those. And it punches out this deer and this deer. So the card we're going to make today is called a dumb diamond double diamond fold card. And when you fold it up, it fits into our medium envelopes. So cool. I think this is a wonderful card because it stands by itself. And it's just really, I like it. Now, the I got these directions and stuff from Lisa's stamp studio, a video she did. And she actually printed out a um, tutorial for it, along with a... A map of how to fold it. She did hers with cardstock and I am very aware because I have to mail most of my cards so I'm very aware of the thickness and when you do this much folding with a piece of cardstock it would get pretty thick so I decided to just use designer series paper and that worked just fine. So we'll start with a piece of 10 by 4 inch designer series paper and we're going to score it at 2 inches on each end. So, huh. we'll start with two inches lengthwise, that's for sure. Okay, and at three and seven, and then we go crosswise at three. And that would be at each end, three and seven, because three off of ten would be seven. Oh, let me do it up here where you can see better. Okay, now we need to make marks. Mark at four and six. So I'm going to take this away and use my ruler for that. So 
So I'm going to mark at four on the edge here. And I'm going to mark at six. On both sides. Turn it around. Four and six. And then you score from that mark down to the down to here. Let me mark, put a mark there. So this is where the two lines intersect, the two score lines. And here. And so you score. And someplace I know I have a scoring tool, but I can't find it, and I happen to have an orange stick, which works just fine. So we score from this mark up to that mark. And the same thing going the other direction from here down to this mark. my pencil mark here. Here it is. Sometimes you have to get the reflection of the shine against the graphite. At least I do. Down. that way. Okay, so you score lengthwise at two inches, you score crosswise at three inches, and at six inches. Six inches and three inches. And then you make a mark here at four from each end. At four and six. Oh, this score was at seven. And then you score it that way. So start by folding it in half along that score line. And use your bone folder to make it good and tight and good and firm. Okay, bone folder, front and center. I never was one much to use bone folders, but I'm starting to use them more and more. Okay, and then you fold at the seven score line, seven inch score line, and the three inch score line. Okay, so now, kind of work your fingers. We've got a score line here, and you're gonna work, this makes a valley fold. This makes a valley fold. And I'm just finger pressing these folds. Okay, so then when you go to fold, it goes together, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, for Pete's sake. That 
is not right. I needed to score it too. <sighs> this always happens. I'm sorry, people. The first score is on each end is two inches. I made this look sample late at night and it worked out so quick so easy there we go that was two inches not three I guess you score again on three because anyway this is the shape that you need when you're done okay so let's go back over that again two and three, two, and three. And you fold the two folds back, and then you've got your diagonals, and it goes together like that. And that is the basis of your card. See? Ah. Okay, so for the inside, we have two pieces of basic white that are Two and five eighths by two and five eighths, and we have a piece of real red that is two and three fourths by two and three fourths. And we just adhere those to the card. I'm going to put okay, so you're going to want one on the front and one on the back. Before I put the one on the front, I'm going to stamp my greeting so that if I make a mistake, I can redo it by turning it over. I'm using the Evening Evergreen. I find I have used it a lot. And the greeting says, wishing you, and we're doing this on the diagonal, so wishing you a wonderful year and friendships dear. And that stamped perfectly. So I don't have to turn it over. And I will adhere it to the other side of this diamond. And that fits inside the card like so. So it closes in like that. And the back side, you can write your name and a short message there. So I'm going to put adhesive on the lower part. Flip this up and slide it in again. just fits in there like that and I have pre-stamped the deer on um, soft suede cardstock with evening early espresso and we will line it up and punch him out to line him up 
I find that if you lightly squeeze the punch, it will help hold the piece so it doesn't slide all over everywhere. It also punches out the antlers, but I haven't quite figured. I mean, you could glue the antlers on behind the ears. Yeah, I think that's what I would do. But this is going to be female deer. It's doe a deer, a female deer. And I'm going to use some mini dimensionals to put the deer on. Got all kinds of dimensionals here. I guess I'll use some big ones. So there you have it. A double diamond fold card. And like I say, it folds flat to fit into an envelope. When you're adding whatever you put up here, you have to be careful that you don't add it too far above the point so that it still fits in your envelope. Because you can't turn it this way. It's too wide for that. Anyway, I'm going to be making some more of these cards because they're unique. They fold flat for mailing, and they stand up by themselves like that. Now, let me tip it so you can see it better. There. You can see the greeting, but I think it's kind of unique. Thank you for watching. I will urge you to, if you don't already have a demonstrator, that you contact me. I would love to be your demonstrator. Um, if you have any, and my online store is creationsbysue.stampinup.net. If you have any questions, you can email me, sue at soggystomper.com, or give me a call at my cell, uh, cell phone number. And I post, I try to post it three times a week, but I'm not always good about that. Uh, www.soggystamper.com. And when you go to my blog, there is a link to get onto my mailing list. Um, I encourage you to do that uh, because I send out um, weekly a tutorial of some sort and some hints and stuff like that. I, this video will be on my YouTube channel by tomorrow, and uh, so you can uh, watch it there. And I urge you to subscribe to it. When you're there, there's a little subscribe button down underneath, a little red button. Click on that to just subscribe. And that way, whenever I put a video up, you will be notified. So thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you next Friday at uh, 3 o'clock. Bye-bye. Okay,